Cooperative Systems Design. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 498. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our October 9th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update, and today's topic is cooperative systems design. And everything you see happening in the background of this video are the foundations of our cooperative systems design. But there's really two different ways to look at cooperative systems design. The first is systems that cooperate with each other, designing systems designed to, to support each other. And so those would be like the physical foundations or maybe tangible, I don't know, that's not really, like if we take the foundations of our project and we look at how they all interrelate, that would be cooperative systems design. And those foundations, we've taken like the physical foundations of sustainability, we've combined them with the emotional foundations of sustainability to create an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that's better than the way that most people are living right now. And so those physical foundations obviously all cooperate and work together. They are food, housing, and energy. But they also cooperate and work together with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we think are arguably as important and maybe even more important than the physical foundations to creating an abundant, like thriving lifestyle. You know, so you have the physical foundations, but without the emotional foundations, then what do you really have? And those emotional foundations that we've identified are fulfilled living practices, what we call high school approaches to ed education, economics, and then true earth stewardship. And putting all that together as a cooperative, collaborative model for what we call highest good living, like living for the highest good of all people in life on this planet. So this, each of those systems, each of those components works together to create a more fulfilling, thriving, abundant community model that we are developing so that we can demonstrate all these things in one place as a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub designed to teach other people how to create teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, or hubs as well. So that's like cooperative systems design from the component perspective. But then there's also cooperative systems design from the human perspective, meaning cooperative and collaborative models instead of the traditional everyone for themselves paradigm. You know, the idea of like we can accomplish and create a better, more enriching, more wonderful, more personally fulfilling environment that also gives back to the world through cooperation and collaboration much, much better than through competition. And families are already doing this. Corporations are already doing this. They cooperate and collaborate on a specific goal to achieve that goal better than they could individually. Um, fraternities and sororities, like groups of people are already coming together and demonstrating that cooperation and collaboration works better than just pure competition. We want to demonstrate that on the community level by bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all people in life on this planet and open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything that we're designing in the food, the housing, the energy, the fulfilled living, the education, the economics, true or stewardship, and all these different categories so that people have what they need to build comprehensively sustainable, fulfilling, enriching, thriving environments as eco-communities and teacher demonstration hubs. So for us, demonstrating cooperative systems design is about creating the complete model as a system of systems that are integrated and saying like, what is the best way that we can do food? What is the best way that we can do housing? What's the best way that we can do energy and fulfill living education? Like what is collaboratively the best way that we can come up with to create these things? And we've outlined all that on the website. And, you know, and then also like cooperating and collaborating as people with each other and creating a culture of cooperation and collaboration to enrich each of these components 
and to demonstrate what's possible with that and to open source and free share all of that with the world. That is what we're doing. If we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this idea is attractive enough so that it can become self-replicating, we can change the world. Like We can reach that critical mass, that tipping point of sustainability and participation so we can create a sustainable world that will benefit everybody. And so that's the ultimate goal of cooperative systems design is to create a global cooperative, a global collaborative, and a new paradigm of people working together instead of against each other for the highest good of all people in life on this planet by creating enough abundance so that scarcity doesn't exist such that people have to have to compete with each other. You know, it's like if I have enough, I don't need to compete with my neighbor for that which I already have. As a matter of fact, if I'm abundant with it, I probably want to share it with that person so that they have what they need as well. It's not in my best interest to have more than I need while my neighbor is starving, is it? So, and people would say, well, wait a minute, like in today's society, it seems like there's lots of countries that have more than they need. It's like, well, on the individual level, people don't really feel like that. And, oh man, that's a whole nother conversation. So the goal is to address that on the individual community level, to give people, to create systems that are designed through cooperation, collaboration, that give people more than what they need so that then they can outreach and help others, to create environments where, where everybody's needs are met and with a model and engine specifically to help other people as well. And that model is open sourcing and free sharing so that rather than giving a person a fish, we can teach people to fish globally. And so rather than, than just doing humanitarian aid in a country that needs it, we can create self-replicating systems that provide the resources that people need and the knowledge that people need to replicate those systems so that we can build food systems that are resilient and don't have, as in just one example, that aren't using herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides that are polycultures designed to provide higher quality food, more nutritious food, locally grown, so that you can support people locally with that rather than using fossil fuels to truck those foods all over the world instead and at, at below living wages now we can grow those foods locally and provide that not only enough for people to eat in their own communities, but to then give that and support communities around them as well and teach other communities how to do that also. You know, so this is just one example, you know, and we can show that for the housing, we can show that for the energy, even the fulfilled living models and open sourcing and free sharing, what those look like, you know, built on the idea of like a club med environment where everything you could want to do is within walking distance. You just check in and it's like, well, what do I want to do? It's all my finger. It's like right here, there's a hundred things to do. You know, I don't have enough time in one day to do that. Well, we want to create a complete living model design around that idea so that people get to share their gifts and their passions with other people within the community and you have you know a couple hundred people doing that there's more things that you could do in one day all available to the residents as well as visitors as a thriving culture of growth and sharing and and contribution so this is what one community is doing this is how we're demonstrating cooperative systems design and integrating it into all the physical foundations, the emotional foundations, and then showing this culture of cooperation, collaboration, what that's possible and what that's capable, what's possible with that and what that's capable of. So this is what we're up to. Thanks for watching to the end. Uh, if you like what it is that we're doing, click that subscribe button uh, and you'll see our our weekly progress updates pop up in your YouTube channel feed. Uh, if you like a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, uh, subscribe to our our weekly progress updates and we'll send you our weekly progress update blog that has everything that we've accomplished for the last week our all volunteer team like each item what everybody is working on you can see exactly what that's all about um if you'd like to uh, help out. Well, if you'd like to see everything that we're doing, obviously just visit our website. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. Uh, if you'd like the easiest way to help out, watch to the end here and see bullet points and all the major components of our project. And that helps our algorithm. And um, yeah, until next week, we will, of course, keep on working on our cooperative systems design and sharing that. And of course, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models.
One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.